Okay, I got three cups of flour, some salt, some sugar, some unsalted butter, some baking powder, some evaporated vitamin D milk, vitamin A and D added, and some garlic powder. And these are the ingredients I'm going to use. And of course, I have three eggs in here that's getting room temperature, but I'm not going to use all three of those. I'm only going to use one. And then I have some extra flour here so that I can put up my counter after I get everything all mixed up. Okay, so let's get started. And I have my container and my measuring spoons and my whisk. Okay, now let's get started. See everything? Not the hot peppers over there. Okay, the first thing I want to do is shake up my can of milk and open it up so I can have that ready. Person in the background here. Say the rest of it. Well, I think I need a little bit more here for well, our next batch. And I need to get that out of that can, so I'm going to uh, get me a jar and pour that in. tablespoons already counted out for you. I'm going to warm the butter up a little bit. Let me uh, cut the butter first and get it pop. This is my cut my butter. The rest of the butter we use to put on top of our bread when it gets done. Now I'm going to warm this up a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to wait for the flour. This time I'm going to do all of my wet ingredients first. Melt the butter a little bit. 
And I'm going to mix my milk in with the butter. And I'm going to throw an egg in with it. Mix it all up. Then I'm going to mix all my dry ingredients up. And I'm going to be ready to go. You see, it's not all the way down there. Put it down, put it up. Okay. I'm trying to show you. But the only way I can show you is this way. Okay. Don't want it hot. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. You see how it is? And I'm going to cut the fire out. And I'm going to pour the milk in. So when I pour the milk in, that's going to cool the butter down some. Now I'm going to get my egg from over there, but I have to put the camera down first. Move over here, so get my egg. Put me an egg in here. Okay, now I'm going to get my container. This over so. Throw the egg away. Take my cup of flour. Put it in here. With my three cups of flour. Next, I'm going to take. My sugar, that's uh, one fourth cup of sugar. I'm going to make uh, a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt, dump it over in there. I'm going to need a teaspoon of baking powder. We're not using yeast this time. We're going to be using baking powder. This is a no yeast cake. So we're going to use baking powder. One tablespoon of baking powder. And that's it for the dry ingredients. I'm going to stir it all this here up and mix it up a little bit before I pour my liquid into it. There's all different kind of ways you can do this. Okay, I'm going to start pouring my liquid in. A little bit in like that. 
and I'm going to stir it up. Start getting that mixed up together. Taking this out. That's that dog making all that noise. He loves to make noise when someone is recording. He does my son the same way. He barks and everything. He always wants to be in the video. That's all. Okay. Here's some Send this and stuff up together. But I do have some more left still. So I'm not all the way through even getting it mixed up here. For the rest of my ingredients in. bit more liquid left. We haven't used all our liquid up yet. Now let's use the rest of it. Okay, now remember the little extra flour I got? I got the little extra flour. It's for this reason right here. This is why I got a little extra flour right here. I'm 
I'm going to pour this over here. Didn't want that much over there. Just enough to get this stickiness off my hand. We don't want to overdo the flour. We're trying to slide on off. We only want to work with where we put the flour at because we want to get that flour fixed in. Okay, it's not as sticky now. We didn't need all the flour. I just wanted to have it out so I wouldn't have to pull out the bag and everything again. Okay, I want to pour just a little dash of olive oil here. Just a little bit to get rid of that dryness from the extra flour. That should be enough. That's the thing about bacon dough. First it's too sticky. Then you have to unstick it, and then you have to get it just right, where it won't be too dry. Just a little bit more, and that should do it. Now it's ready. Yeah, just right now. I'm going to have to let it rest. And while it's resting, I'm going to make the rest of my meal. Okay. Let I'm going to put this here in the pan and put a towel on top of it. I'm just going to put it in. You know what? I, I might as well just go ahead on the bread and then let it rest. That's what I'm going to do. 